Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're anything like me, you probably haven't had a look at MS Paint for quite some time. But Microsoft has actually been working pretty hard to make some big improvements. Most recently, they've added two different AI features. One is AI generation using the DALI engine, and the other is background removal. So these are two really handy tools that previously you would have had to go elsewhere to get. So let's take a look. First up, we have the AI image generation. And in order to get this, when we open up, we can see that Paint, in addition to its traditional bits and pieces, now has this box over on the right hand side called Co-Creator. When we click on Co-Creator, the first time it may ask you to join a waitlist. For me, I did that and within five seconds, the waitlist image had gone away and I had this box here. Very much like the other AI image generators, we put in a description. We have a drop down with different types of styles for the image. And then when we hit create, it creates an image. We start off with a certain number of tokens. And so that's very reminiscent of something like the Bing AI uh, image generation in there. Uh, nice thing here, we don't get the Bing uh, little logo watermark sitting in our image. And so I had a go of a couple of different things. And here's a pretty simple one, brown dog on a skateboard. Nice and simple, so it should be simple for the engine to produce something. And we can see that it did it, quite a nice image. You can see a few others here that it is, has produced for us. So that's kind of handy, but it's something where there is other places we could get this. It is really nice though that it is just built into Windows, it's just there in Paint. The second feature, which is also, I presume, somewhat new, I haven't admittedly looked in Paint for a while, is the background removal. So this is something where you've been able to do it for a very long time in programs like Photoshop. If you wanted a free alternative, the GIMP could do it as well. But now here it is, again, just built into Windows. So this first one we're going to test out. Here's me in front of a green screen. And so we've got the little button over here, click Remove Background. And so we click it, it has a bit of a think for not too long. And we can see that it's actually done a pretty good job. It's a little bit of green hazing just around the hair, around the ear, the neck there as well. But overall pretty good, certainly good enough for me to be able to use in something like a thumbnail. If I needed this and I really needed to get rid of that green, I could zoom in and do a little bit more clean up. But that's really pretty impressive. Let's try it again with something that's a little bit more complicated for it. Here we have a much tougher image for it to try and take the background away. We can see that the lighting is pretty funny. This is from a gig that I played. The It's a bit blurry. There's some funny lighting. We've got the guitar in there. There's other bits and pieces. So let's hit the background removal and let's just see how it goes. And again, that is pretty good. So no prompting, no fiddling around. Again, we could probably clean it up and maybe take out just around the base of the guitar, these little dark patches. But for a pretty hazy image uh, with some kind of unusual lighting and it has done a pretty good job. And again, we might have been able to do this in something like Photoshop, but here it is, just built in in paint. Really handy for us. So that's it for today. Just wanted to share these two new features in MS Paint. Really great to see that even in the most basic built-in tools, we're starting to see some of these really powerful AI bits and pieces being added to them. I'll be back really soon with more videos about AI, stats, research, and random stuff.